Hey guys, welcome back to Tip Tuesday. My name is Matthew Sturkey with Stone Mill Log and Timber Homes. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to talk about four tips for choosing the right windows for your log or timber frame home. And the one we're going to start with, which I think is where you would start to make that decision, is choosing the windows that reflect the architectural style that you're doing. So if you are building a traditional log home, you might lean more towards a double hung unit with traditional grill patterns. If you're doing a uh, timber frame, you might lean more towards uh, floor to ceiling windows, fixed glass units, no grills. Uh, however, as you can see with this particular home, they've mixed a little bit of your traditional double hung with your more contemporary, contemporary fixed glass floor to ceiling windows. So, you know, the first tip is to choose windows that reflect the architectural style that you're doing. If it's more modern and contemporary, you might make a certain selection of windows differently than if you're building a more traditional home and you're more wanting traditional grill patterns and traditional features with the windows. So that's the first tip. The second one, is to think about the operation of the units. With this particular home, you can see three different types uh, of operation here. One is a, a traditional double hung, which is an, a unit that opens bottom up and top down. Uh, you can see the bottom of these uh, gable end windows are a crank awning for ventilation. Uh, you couldn't do a double hung here, so they uh, opted to do a crank awning for ventilation. And then you've got fixed units uh, here. There's also a, uh, a, a crank casement, which is basically a side hinge like a door, and it cranks out from the side. So uh, there are different types of operations. In this particular uh, home, you see uh, double hung units in, in this load bearing wall. You see a crank awning under these uh, fixed glass units in the gable end, and then you've got some geometric units and some fixed units up in the gable end as well. So be thinking about the operation of the units in, in each room, in each location. If you had a kitchen window over a sink, you might want to consider doing a crank awning or a crank casement as opposed to a double hung as you might not want to have to lean over the sink and over the faucet to uh, put your hands underneath the double hung unit to open it up. Might be a little easier to operate if you have a crank unit, a crank casement or awning in that particular location. So be thinking about the operation of these units in each location within the home to make sure that that is the right operation for that particular application. The third item is going to be energy efficiency, which is really important. There are different climate zones around the country. So the window units that you select need to comply with those climate zones. And we do what we call a residential energy calculation, which is called a res check. And that shows that the home meets and exceeds the local energy code requirements. So different units are going to yield different what we call U values uh, with the units. And there are double pane units, triple pane units. There's different types of glass that are applicable for different climate zones and different regions of the country. So make sure that you're choosing the right windows based on the energy efficiency, which is ultimately something that is going to help you to lower your utility bills long-term. And it's really important to select the right um, window units for those different regions of the country. The number of panes of glass, whether it's double pane, which is the minimum we do, or triple pane, or uh, the type of glass that's actually put into the unit. This home here was built in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and so it's all double paned, a certain specific type of glass for this particular uh, uh, region of the country. And so energy efficiency is really important to uh, factor into your decisions for selecting the right windows for your log or timber frame home. And then the last one is lifespan. Be thinking about the lifespan of these different units. Um, fiberglass units, aluminum clad units are going to tend to have a little bit longer lifespan, like 40 to 50 plus years. 
whereas your uh, vinyl and wood units are going to have more like 20 to 30 years of lifespan. However, be thinking about replacement cost. If you um, have a aluminum clad or a fiberglass unit, might be a little bit more expensive to replace, but you're also going to get about double the lifespan out of the units. And so it may not be an issue in your lifetime. Um, so lifespan is important, the longevity of the units, the um, uh, operation, the energy efficiency, and then choosing the windows to reflect the architectural style of your home are the four tips uh, for choosing the right windows for your log or timber frame home. So hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining us today for Tip Tuesday. We look forward to you uh, joining us for more Tip Tuesday next week. Until then, stay safe and healthy and take care.